Hi, my name is Eric Ederer, and I'm a composer and ethnomusicologist. For the last decade, I've been studying and playing the musics of the Near East, mainly in Turkey, but also various Arab and Persian musics, as well as Greek, Armenian, Sephardic, Mizrahi, and other kinds of music of the region. I've also always been interested in designing and making guitars and other musical instruments. Over the last few years, I have been trying to merge these two passions by inventing designs for a musical instrument that can be used to play the music of several different cultures, and I think I've come up with a winner. So I'm setting up this Kickstarter project to gather funding to make the prototype of an experimental new musical instrument. I call it the Nautilauta. It's based on a mixture of several European instruments, such as the cittern and mandocello, and several Near Eastern instruments, such as the Turkish lauta and tambour, the Persian tar, and the Lebanese buzuk. The body is based on the shape of the golden spiral. This is an ancient geometric figure found manifest in many places in the natural world, for instance, in the sea creature called the nautilus. I call the instrument the Nautilus lauta partly because it's like a lauta, in the shape of a nautilus, and partly for the pun not a lauta. The main difference it has from similar western instruments such as the mandocello, cittern, or for that matter the guitar, is the frets. Guitars, for instance, are fretted for what is called 12-tone equal temperament, like a piano. This is a tuning system that was self-imposed on Western music a couple hundred years ago in order to be able to facilitate modulating and transposing in all 12 Western keys, but to do that, the whole system has to be slightly out of tune. Yes, you heard right, Western music is deliberately out of tune. You'll find a link on the Kickstarter webpage to explain more about that, but as it turns out, there are many kinds of music in the world that are still played in tune. For instance, Turkish music, Arab music, Persian music, and even several kinds of traditional European and North African music, when they're not being accompanied by tempered instruments. There has also been a growing number of composers who are interested in what is called microtonal music, especially music in what we call just intonation, which is another way of saying music that is actually in tune. It's kind of like the organic vegetables of music. Now, just as you'd expect, each of these music cultures only creates instruments for playing its own kind of music specifically. So just as you can't go into a guitar shop in the US and find a guitar that's made to play Turkish music on, the Turks aren't generally playing Persian music, and the Persians aren't generally playing Arab music, and the Arabs aren't playing Corsican music, and the Corsicans aren't playing Armenian music, and the Armenians aren't necessarily playing avant-garde microtonal music, and just when you think maybe we should call the whole thing off, some ethnomusicologist invents the nautilata. What's nice about the nautilata is that it's an instrument with the familiar sound and feel of a western fretted instrument like the mandola, but that's set up in such a way that, possibly for the first time ever, one instrument can be used to play virtually all of the traditional types of music of the greater Mediterranean and Mesopotamian culture zones, which of course have spread out throughout Europe, the Americas, and Central Asia over the centuries practically from medieval times to today's completely avant-garde space opera. Not only does it make the music of each of these cultures available to musicians all over the world, it also makes them accessible to each other, and can even be a medium for Near Eastern composers and performers to experiment easily with polyphony and chords in their own tuning systems. Now, I don't suppose the not allowed by itself will be able to bring about world peace exactly, but time and again, I've seen musicians from cultures supposedly in dire conflict with each other getting together to play, and the result is nearly always some great music and a lasting feeling that the other person is actually a human being after all. So it couldn't hurt to have an instrument that everybody can pick up and immediately share their music with. My idea here is to have luthier Josh Humphrey make a prototype of the Nautilata, to play and record with it, loan it out, let Near Eastern musicians and Just Intonation musicians play with it, and see what kind of feedback we get. If it's an idea whose time has come, then we can all say we were the spark for bringing it into being. And if it doesn't immediately spread across the face of the earth, well, I promise that I'll make some interesting music with it anyway. So now that you know what the Nautilata can be, I would like to appeal to you to help me and Luthier Josh Humphrey of Charming Eugene, Oregon, make that prototype, the first ever instrument of its kind. Hopefully when we do reach the goal, 
Josh will get started building this fine instrument and it should be ready to play around May 15th, 2012. In the meantime, thanks very much for your support in creating the very first Nautilata, an instrument designed for helping music spread understanding and creativity among diverse peoples of the world, and hopefully for making some good music we can all enjoy in peace. Thanks! Thank you.